Hello developers, today we are going to find out how we can communicate between Flutter and native side, both in Android and iOS. So here we are going to create a text view with so data, no data, and data button, which is a raised button. So a child text and let's say call native. And we are going to give a non trust function that's also called call native. Let's define that function call native. So we all know that the, the call to native is always asynchronous, so we have to give the keyword async to the function and return type is always future since it is an asynchronous function, it should be future. Let's give it void as a generic type. Now let's uh, let's give it a comment. This method is going to call the native. Okay, now let's define. We need a channel to communicate with the native. So that's called the method channel. So let's define the method channel. Give it a name platform. So that is not coming. So we have to define, we have to import the services package from, from Flutter. That will be package the second one, the services dot that. Now let's try to import the method channel. Give it a name. My channel. This is a channel that's going to communicate with the native side. Now let's use this channel. Let's go to our function and let's write string. Let's no. Let's write try catch. And on platform exception, we'll catch that error. That will be catch with an error and now inside the catch sorry sorry inside the try catch we can write our function that invokes a native function and write the method yeah so it will be a return type with string let's name it message from native equal to it should be it, should, it is an uh, it is a blocking call so it should be await our platform dot invoke method so that's the method we are going to define it in native so let's write uh, a meaningful one let's write as my native function okay well, let's uh, print it out print message from native So let's, uh, if there is an error, we will just print out the error for now. Let's do, let's show the result back in the text view. So let's define a variable with the name message. Now we have to update the message to show it in the text view. So let's copy that or uh, I just will define a new variable string my message or uh, this msg equal to let's initialize it no message from native native okay now let uh, I'll let it just be message from native. Okay, let's remove that string. So there is one variable, only one variable, message from native. That's going to receive the value from native. So let's set it to a state. It will be message, sorry, message 
colon mess no, it's not colon it should be message equal to message from native okay I set it in the state now we'll set it in the text view let's remove that and put the message there okay so let's give an initial value to the message no message from native let's run it so there is the button mm, let's change it to call native function okay or reload so there is the function okay so if there is an error we are will be printing out the error that is e dot so there is the details okay let's set the message to that details so that it will show it in the text okay okay so that's our native function now we have to define that native function in android go to the android folder and open open it in finder or in the windows you can open it in the folder and select the build out cradle in the root and right click and open with the android studio select android studio and go to the main activity okay so that's our main activity and now the reason we are using the android studio is that it will give all that uh, autocomplete functions that we need so let's write our function string my native function that is just going to return a string that's let's write message from android now let's uh, so this is function that is going to be called from the flutter side as you see there that's our native function so that's uh, that is just a message to the native side you can have any function with any name but you should identify that function so let's define our channel here that will be let's say public static final string channel equal to so remember that our channel should be the same name as it in the plotter side so that will be the my my channel okay let's go inside and uh, define our channel here so new my new method channel so you can see the auto completion so there is a method channel with let's see what are the parameters so the first parameter is the binary messenger the messenger is the flutter view so get flutter view the second one is the channel and so let's set the method method handler with new method callback okay we have two parameters here the method channel and the result okay so method channel contains which what is the method that's been called so method channel dot method is equal to what is the method coming from the flutter side that's our native function my native function okay so let's invoke our function that's returning a string so it will be message from flutter message to flutter equal to my native function so let's set the result back to the flutter that's how we send the result back that the message to flutter so what is the error there 
thing it should be the result dot so there are three functions we will use the success one that will be in a stage to flutter so what if that is not the function that's coming else we will just return not implemented result dot oops result dot uh, will not implement okay let's back to the plot aside let's hot reload so as you see that's a native function message from native let's come here it will update the message and it will show in the text view so hot reload so there is a function click on that so we are, we are going to get there because I have changed it down the native side so we have to completely rebuild our app to see the changes so flutter run call native function so there you go so you can see the message from android in the text view now let's send parameters send some parameters to the native side and get it back from flutter That will be a string with a dynamic. So let's set a key as from with a value as uh, say plotter. This is the parameters that we are going to send to native side. So use that params in the invoke method as a second parameter. It's, as you see, the params is the second parameter okay now let's go back to the android side and get the parameters there that will be a map the string and a dynamic here it is the object give it a variable name params equal to the call method call dot arguments okay let's cast it so android studio can do that okay now let's send it back to flutter with plus params dot get and the key name from we'll just extract it to a new variable and send a string from param equal to let's cut and paste it there And we'll write it as uh, back to lap and okay, what's wrong with to string? Okay, now we will set it as comma back to and our from parameter from value. Okay, from parameter, let's go back to and rerun it. Let it run. Okay, call the function. So you can see that there is one back to Flutter message from Android back to. Now we see how we can do it in the iOS side. Click the iOS folder, reveal in Finder, open the Xcode workspace. We have to go to appdelegate.m and just before the register. Let's get the flutter controller. Flutter, so that's a pointer, controller equal to, let's cast the controller as a flutter controller. And it will be self dot current window, sorry, current window dot the root view controller. Okay, now let's define the method channel. Okay, channel equal to flutter method channel. See the matter, see the parameters. Okay, method channel with me. Our channel name is my channel, and the, the binary messenger is a flutter view, so that's a control okay close it now let's define the method handler as we did in the 
Android side that will be channel. Uh, let's see what are the parameters. Set a third channel, a third call handler. So uh, let's be careful with the syntax. So that will be an apparel within the brackets flutter channel method call sorry but a method call the same like in android so that will be a method call let's name it call and the second one is the result flutter result and the result let's open and close the brackets Put a semicolon at the end. So what is wrong there? We need don't need the pointer for result. Let's define the function now as we did in Android. It will be a dash and a string my native function. Return string literal. That will be an act and message from iOS. Okay, so if the method is call dot my native function is equal to string call dot Method, then we will call our function that will return the string. So, in a string message to Flutter, we are doing the similar from Android. Okay, that will be self. Okay, yeah. Self. An AD function and can send the result back, then will be result and message back to Flutter. Let's go back to Flutter, build and run the app. So, message from iOS. Let's send the parameter as well. Let's get the parameter in the native side. So, that will be. And a string from parameter call dot arguments dot not dot inside the brackets so that from so that's a key let's send it back to flutter so let's create another let's append it to message dot flutter that will be in a string string with format at percentage at that will be the first string comma back to the second string and the first value comma the second value so those are just two literals let's click click native function so there is it message from iOS back to flutter so that's it if you like the video please subscribe to my channel thanks for watching